Hey YouTube, it's your girl Razia J and I am back with another video. If this is your very first time landing on my channel and seeing my face, welcome, welcome, glad to have you here. And if you have been rocking with Ray, thank you so much for your continual support. It means the world to me. Guys, as you can see, I am truly, truly, truly super appreciative of the community that we are building here on this platform. Um, it really is life changing, honestly, when you guys are reaching out to me and asking me for specific videos. And when you guys just leave a comment, it really makes my day when I get that little notification in my phone. So thank you so much for all that you do and as always if you have not subscribed yet i don't know what you're waiting for is absolutely free to support your girl so hit the subscribe button down below then watch the video give me some thumbs up if you like what you are hearing and seeing and then as always comment down below with some hearts word of encouragement or anything that you think that you may need to share with me and if you want to do an extra step you can share it with your family and friends and turn on your post notification bell. All of those things are free and all of those things will mean the world to me. So guys, we are here with another video, probably one of my most requested videos in the last seven months. And it is a video on how I secured my virtual internship with the National Association of Social Workers as a social work student. Guys, long story short, if you are interested in two things, social work field placements and how to secure them, and also how I secured my own personal placements, stay tuned. So yes, guys, this video is a well-requested video outside of people asking me to tell them what schools they should look into. This is a question that I get a lot on this channel and in my DMs over at Instagram. And if you are not following me, you know, you can head over there and follow your girl. Um, a lot of people want to know, how did I become an intern for the NASW New Jersey chapter? And I am going to put it very simple, very short. I reached out to the executive director. I think that as social work students, there is something about our own ability to network, research, um pivot make things happen make things shake that is our superpower and i don't even think it's a superpower it's just a learned skill and i think that oftentimes a lot of social workers have that ability and we have that skill and it's all about flexing it when i started graduate school at fordham university i did have a field placement secured with another agency i found out i think three days before I started grad school that um, the placement fell through and I was super excited to just have a placement early on that I spent my entire summer just enjoying my kids, enjoying my husband and enjoying my life. And then when I found out that placement fell through, I was a little bit bummed because it was literally a few days before the semester started and I needed a placement. I literally went on Facebook and I asked people. And I have a detailed video on what I did. I asked people who knew internships that who knew of internships that was looking for interns this late in the game and were willing to interview me. I, I did get a lot of um, responses. I am so thankful for the over 30 internships that were willing to intern your girl. Like they were willing, like 30 people literally was willing to take me on as a student intern. And I, and I am forever thankful and grateful for those people and their willingness to take me on. So truth be told, I reached out to the executive director and I set up an interview with her. I go to Fordham University where they're the one who's supposed to be taking care of the placement um, whole finagle thing. They're supposed to be taking care of it. But I just reached out to the field office like, you guys don't have anything for me. I have leads, I have resources, and I'm going to do my own thing. Long story short, emailed the executive director. She got back to me. We set up an interview and the rest has been history. If you are a social work student and you want to intern with the NASW, one of the things I would say for you is to look into your local chapter. And I know people have asked me, did I, was I a member prior to interning with the NASW? The honest truth is I was not a member, but membership is a requirement and you 
do have to become a member if you are going to intern there just because you have to know a certain amount of information about the association so that you can give that information out to social workers who are calling you students who are calling you people who are interested in the association so prior to my internship i was not a student member but currently as of today i am if you are interested in looking into interning at the NASW, any chapter that is, I would say your first step is probably reaching out to the executive director. I can't speak for anyone else's executive director, but the few EDs that I have interacted with and I have interacted with the executive director in New Jersey, in New York State, New York City, I believe, and I can't remember the other one, they are very responsive. They are willing to answer your emails and they're not going to be looking at you like you're crazy. If you send an email with the subject student intern position, I'm pretty sure that they will respond to you and they will get you connected with the correct people so that you can interview and do your intake and see if it's a great fit for that chapter. With that being said, if you are a student, Outside of interning with the NASW, but you are looking for interns, I would say connect with local social workers. I have never had an in-person internship. All of my internships were remote and that was through connections and word of mouth. But if you are looking for something local in your state, the first step is probably reaching out to local social workers. They have the resources, they know people. Sometimes they are in a position where they can take you on as an intern. If you are finding that your school is giving you the runaround or they can't find a placement for you and you are kinda slowing like you are kind of um cutting close to the time where you would need to secure your placement i would say reach out to local social workers first and foremost in your community the next thing that i would say is the department of social services every city every state i believe has one that's another place that you can look at for internships if you are a student and you are struggling with getting an internship. Another resource is your local school district. Hello, there are school social workers, right? So if you are struggling, these are places that everyone has access to. And if you are struggling and you are in need of a placement, these are places that you can tap into within your um, locality or local footprint. I don't know what word I'm trying to say, but you can tap into wherever you live as a resource. So first and foremost, ask local social workers, hey, do you have any leads? Do you know anyone? Um, the second thing is, like I said, go to social services, the Department of Social Services, then the school district, and then you can also look at places that are non-traditional. You can look at legislative um, offices. You can look at um, prisons. I think that as social work students, we have to look outside of the box of one, our schools providing us the places that we are going to intern and look also outside of the box of the clinical scope of social work. Social work is very broad. And if you are a student and you are in need of an internship, you can look in a plethora of places and find them. Like I said, my first internship was at a place called Generation Health Education out in Maryland. And they basically was a premier continuing education platform that curated continuing that curated continuing educations revolving around dementia and Alzheimer's. And that was non-traditional, right? That wasn't what people typically do in an internship, but that's what I did. And then also with like the NASW, it's not a traditional placement like I am not doing assessments diagnosis or intakes but I am doing social work related things that have to do with policy that has to do with legislative legislative tracking that has to do with community organizing that has to do with helping fellow social workers figure out and navigate the tools that they need to be the best private practice or school social worker or whatever it is that they need and helping people navigate what it looks like to get the licensure that they need in their state so social work is a very broad field and if you are a student in need of a social work placement ask people word of mouth referrals facebook 
Man, even Instagram, go on Instagram, go on social media, go on YouTube, connect with people that are doing the work that you want them to, that you want to do. And then ask them how you can get plugged in. If you are looking for an internship, it's not that hard. I do know that internships are slow to come by right now, especially since we are coming out of the pandemic, but try to look outside the box. And I promise you, if you are finding yourself at a place that you have a roadblock and you can't figure out what to do to find or secure an internship, send me an email, drop down a comment down below, find me on Instagram, whatever you have to do. And if I can find someone in your state or if I know of any um, internships that are remote, I'd be honored to help you secure an internship. And another place that you can look for internships at is Indeed indeed so guys that's all i wanted to share with this video i wanted to share how i got my internship at nasw which was through word of mouth referrals and just pulling up into somebody's email box and then i want to share that even if your school is lacking in finding you a placement you have what it takes to research to connect to network and to get yourself and to get yourself the internships that you need until next time, peace.